to a part of the world where football really matters there is a healthy tension great expectation building in the lead up to kickoff here a little bit grey overhead and indeed the forecast is for a drop or two of rain as the day grows older but regardless of that there is a lovely backdrop here the ambience is good smashing noise from both sets of supporters and expectations high in both camps One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. So we're up and running. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Well, I think if we're hoping for something special, then it could come from Pedro. Uh, he may not offer much in the way of finesse, but he's very efficient, a good decision maker, and a strong member of this lineup. So look out for him. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. And it's Correa. Now it's Jekko. Good challenge, he just stood firm. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Handanovic gets it upfield. A Serbi. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's uh, it's where the room is. It's Jekko! Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. Bastoni. Bastoni drives it forward. Oh, real danger here. Going for goal! Inter and Inter go in front Inter are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield we're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net it's counter-attacking heaven to Milan take the lead yeah and they know there's plenty of work left in this one Peter before they can actually say that the job is over Poussai hardly anything between the sides and the score is 1-0 Savage Patrick Luis Alberto 
Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Checo. Martinez. Martinez hits it. Oh, that is asking for trouble. He's in. Immobile. Lazzari. It'll be a throw in. And it's Alberto. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Lobs it in gently. And he's there to cut it out. Brozovic. Chalanolu plays it long. Nicely worked. Checo! Oh, that is rather wayward. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Brozovic. Skriniar tries to locate someone up front. Pedro needed to come up with a better ball. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. Lazzari switches it towards the other side. Looks to thread it through. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. No complaints about that challenge. Robust, but fair. Good take, and he's had a look. It's Jekyll! And there's the end of the first half. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Inter Milan, happy to have the lead in a tight old game. Half-time, 1-0. So we're just settling back into this second half. Well, 1 0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Barrera goes pulsing down that left hand side. Lazzari demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Perisic. Bastoni, Skrinja, Chelhanolu, Cheko, Chelhanolu. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Luis Alberto. Now it's Immobile. He came in hard, very hard. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Just brushed off the ball there. Correa. Oh, nice touch. He's put it on the right now. What's on? He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Usai tries to get it forward quickly. Skriniar. Brozovic. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. Luis Alberto. 
And here's Dzeko. Mat Real chance! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, it was just some wayward passing that let the opposition in then. And I have to say, a very lucky escape. You lose it there, you expect to be punished. Chooses to go back. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all. And the shot! Goal! A two goal cushion and it's looking safe. Terrible error, duly punished. So that's two now without reply. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Patrick. Lazzari hoists it forward. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Patrick gets it back. And it's Pedro. Checo. Pedro, he's through, what a ball, oh, shooting chance! Oh, should have put that away. Well, that's a real shame, because it could have led to a real momentum shift. Danovic sends that a long way. Lazzari. Patrick. Acerbi. Steered forward. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, and they finally reacted, but they could... Tries a shot! Managed to get it away. Inter Milan are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Immobile. Savage. Now it's Felipe Anderson. Felipe Anderson plays it out to the flank. Inter Milan making consecutive changes here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Oh, he's not going to get that. A bit of throw in. Savage. Defending was strong and firm. Nolu takes control of it and he's on the move. Checo, well read, he sorted that out. Rick. And that is that. Inter Milan can be very happy with a job well done. An efficient win for which the players simply did enough. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Yeah, they had a 